Hello, my name is Nelson Vales, and this is my documented story of my cycling vacation during Ride the Rockies 2017 event. Good morning. Ride with Nelly. 2017 Ride the Rockies. Just left the hotel uh, to transfer over to the rec center where the starting point is. And then we'll head on over to Pagosa Springs. <laughs> Breathing from the altitude. We have uh, 93 miles on the map today, not including the transfer. What I mean by transfer is hotel to start, finish to hotel. We're gonna rack up every mile on this trip. So you're gonna ride with Nelly for a week-long cycling fitness vacation of Ride the Rockies. Check out the map. Ride with Nelly back. Uh, 22 miles into it, first rest area. Pretty good group. You saw as you sat the wheel riding with me. So now we're gonna go get a pancake breakfast, say hello to the peeps, and uh, keep an eye out for the same group uh, to continue to sit the wheel and relax and try to breathe and all that crap. So anyway, we're gonna get some pancakes, say some hugs. Love, kisses to the peeps. Flipping flapjack, baby. We're on our way. You ride with Nelly, ride the Rockies 2007. Nelly. Wolf Creek Pass. Short 20 mile climb. I know that from one rest area to another it was going to be 10 miles before it starts to pitch up pretty steep. But everybody's rolling. I'm rolling at my own pace. I want to live to see tomorrow. So I'm not going to put it all out on the road today but we're just gonna ride at our own pace. You ride with Nelly, sit the wheel. Getting dropped. Ride with Nelly back. 10,000 10, plus feet here at the top of Wolf Creek Pass. It was, uh, it was hard coming up. Um, total headwind, total headwind. Kids and everybody here is chilling. And uh, they met me up top, so now I got a jacket on. I'm going to put on some gloves, fresh cap, and uh, head down. And back to the There's a little snow still up here as well, but it's beautiful. The nice thing is that it's sunny. Uh, no cloudy rain. Uh, skies in the forecast right now so people usually just come here and you got to document the moment and get your picture taken don't be a hard person 
<clears throat> go ahead and get your picture taken. That's what people need to do. And so that's what we're doing. So Facebook friends, family, my YouTube peeps out there. Robert Nelly, 10,008. Top Wolf Creek Pass just today. Let's see what we get ourselves into tomorrow. But we're on our way down to the high school, so uh, we'll see you guys later. Rest area. Be Robert with Nelly. Peace. Good morning, ride with Nelly. Day two, ride the Rockies, 2017. This portion is from Pagosa Springs to Durango. Sun is at my back. 68 miles on the map, plus the hotel transfer. We're gonna bypass the start this time. Hey! And uh, continue on the same road I'm riding on, direction Durango. If I sound like I'm out of breath already, just leaving the hotel driveway, it's because I'm sitting at 7,100 feet, coming from San Diego sea level. <clears throat> Hopefully someday, all you folks out there would join me for Ride the Rockies, a week-long cycling vacation, cycling fitness vacation. Get your butt off the couch from your usual ride. Do something different where you're force-fed to enjoy yourself. With terrain that you might not have challenged yourself with before in the past. But at the same time, you can't bitch because it's the same for everybody. You ride with Nelly. All right, we're back. From the hotel driveway, you got a couple of points, maybe 1K, and then you start out the day with a two mile climb, 3K climb. Uh, pretty challenging for those that have tired legs. Uh, for the skinny guys, I think it's fun for them to leave the driveway and speed up a climb like that. Anyway, check out the map. We're on our way to Durango. We'll be back with more. First rest area, uh, 12, 13 miles into it. Sunny morning, almost no wind, if not a tailwind, uh, after that climb you saw on the map, and then the downhill to the first rest area. But for most of us that are doing Ride the Rockies, this is home. This is where you start your day. Um, you make your way to the first rest area, you get your pancake, breakfast, or whatever else they're serving. Everything is cost effective. And I tell you what, the mix is like crap. 
because it's an unlimited amount of pancakes and it's an all-you-can-eat breakfast. So when you ride with Nelly, you just leave the tip when you have a ride with Nelly jersey on. Other than that, she's the boss and those are her two staff members. This young lady here, she was younger than this guy many years ago when we were doing this. So he's next in charge, but she's in charge. What's your name again, babe? Kylie. Kylie's in charge, and Dan and Mama <laughs> is the staff members. So this is how it's done. Watch that work. Pretty simple operation, just requires technique. We won't tell you what's in the batter, but it just works for everybody. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back with more Ride With Nelly. Day two, Ride the Rockies. We'll see ya. rest area was only like 12, maybe 12, 13 miles out, so another 15 miles, okay, exactly 12 miles. So continue to ride with Nelly, folks. Enjoy your fitness, get outdoors. Rob and I rode up the climb together, so now we, we're kind of fresh to live to see another day. So many people passed us, you saw that on the video, but uh, we took our time, huh? We took our time and we made it. Yeah, so we just pedaled the small gears, stretched the legs out. That's how you ride with Nelly when you ride, ride the Rockies. Just take your time, enjoy the day, look around, right? Awesome. All right, Rob and I are going to just hang out and chill, and then uh, we'll make our way into Durango. We'll see you guys later. See you guys. Go 
Nelly back. Uh, about a two mile climb here at 7,300 feet plus, and uh, then a dip down to the rest area. So we're using the compact gearing, taking our time, and enjoying the day. It's quiet, tailwind. Peaceful mountain, peaceful mountain view. You riding with Nelly? Sit the wheel. Sort of like a rest day, a complimentary loop. I'm rolling out of the hotel driveway a short hour after a big group just left the hotel. But sitting at 6,500 feet, uh, gonna head down this 550, 160 road to where the, I should merge on with some other cyclists right at 160 when it starts going up. And then we climb up to the top and then left turn down, down, down and around. You'll see the map. You'll see the loop. You ride with Nelly. Day three, Durango, Durango. 40 mile ish. Ish. We're back, almost at the top. Over one hour into the climb, 10 miles. Just passing Patty's driveway. Sitting at almost 8,000 feet. You ride with Nelly, Cycling Fitness, Ride the Rockies. Everyone's doing it. We all ride the same road. The weather's the same for everybody. No bitching. Ride with Nelly, sit the wheel. We'll be back in breakfast. Yeah, what's, what's up, what's up? 
Ride with Nelly. Breakfast time. Nelly cruising. Now that we're at the top, and you just saw the loop, uh, it's downhill, downhill left hand turn the whole way. I'm on a solo road by myself. Many groups ahead, and a lot of people behind. So, ride with Nelly's just cruising, riding the Rockies. It's like a rest day. 40 mile loop. Sit the wheel. Robert Nelly. With the view to my left. Tailwind. Mostly downhill with that little bump in the road, if you can see that. But beautiful scenery up top. Sitting at a whopping 7,500 feet. But a good opportunity to just look around, you know, and enjoy the day, the loop day. Uh, many people are racing it, they don't get to see shit. I'm gonna use that word. But when you ride with Nelly, <clears throat> Just chilling, looking around, enjoying the gears. That's about it. All right, we're gonna continue to sit the wheel. second rest area, 27 miles into it. Again, pretty nice scenery. Everyone's in a good mood for this little loop. So. Bye-bye. Bye. See? <laughs> Told you how we roll here when you ride with Nelly here at Ride the Rockies. So, we're just gonna complete our loop, ride in the middle of the street. Say hi to Miss South America. Hi, how are you? Hola. Please pray for Venezuela. All right. 
You heard it first. We sit the wheel. We'll see ya. So Robert Nelly back, um, 40 miles hotel to the parking spot. Trevor and Kira is here. They're just chilling with the Robert Nelly vehicle support. You saw that in some of the other vehicles, but uh, some of the other videos. But today was a really nice loop. If you saw, I mean, we had a big up with some headwind, we made the left turn, had breakfast, and then there was a super down with a lot of tailwind. Dangerous tailwind, like you want to go fast. But if you went fast, you wouldn't see anything. You know, and that was the whole idea of the loop. So you saw some of the pictures, you enjoyed the ride, you sat the wheel. You gotta come join us here in Colorado every year for Ride the Rockies. It's not a bike race, it's just cycling fitness family fun. Am I right, Chris? Absolutely, it was a gorgeous day out there. Uh, we even had a person with Parkinson's on an e-bike out there that had an amazing, amazing time, smiled the whole way. Yeah, yeah. It was a beautiful day out there. All right. You heard it first, folks. And your organization? The Davis Finney Foundation, helping people with Parkins live well today. All right, and how can they reach you? Uh, DPF.org, it's a great, great organization. Uh, and we're making, we're changing people's lives literally every day. Cool, can you repeat that again? We're at DPF.org. DPF.org, folks. We'll see ya, thanks see for that. You. See you, buddy. All right, so let's go over here to the family here. So we have my son, Trevor. And folks, you must know, I never post family stuff. It's only Ride With Nelly stuff, but here's my cool son. It's fun to have a well-behaved kid. I mean, you know, I could have been like in juvenile court on today or something, you know, but no, we're sitting out here in, in, in Durango chilling. So how's your trip so far, Trevor? It's a lot of fun. Ride of the Rockies is my second year. It's always a blast. You get to have a little road trip. It's all scenic every step of the way and it's just a lot of fun everybody's super duper nice here and get to hang out with us cool and who's your guest this is my girlfriend kira my better half Hello. all right so how was your trip so far it's been awesome i mean driving really hasn't been a pain when you want to help anybody else out here it's been fun it's been inspiring it honestly makes me want to cycle and i've never really considered being a cyclist so shows cool all right folks we'll see you we'll see you we're gonna head to get some lunch and uh just do the ride with nelly thing here in the sunshine in durango thanks for watching
ride with Nelly. Day four. Um, another 90 mile day. It says like 80 something on the map. Uh, pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Um, I'll show you the map in a minute. But anyway, 47 degrees and sunny right now. By the time I get to the top of Molas Pass, it's not going to be more than 60. 55, 60, even if it's sunny. So we don't know what that's like, but I'm bundled up today and I'm able to peel versus not. So you ride with Nelly for a big day from Durango to Ridgeway. If I feel better, I'll even continue the next 25, 30 miles down to Montrose. But we'll see how that goes. We don't have to push it. Enjoy the day, folks, like I am. Ride with Nelly, 2017, Ride the Rockies. Cycling Fitness Week. It's cold, folks. It's cold in this valley. It's gotta be. It's gotta be 39 degrees, I swear. Less than 45 for sure. I'm bundled up. Do a whole wardrobe change. I'm so blessed to happen to have it. I'm happy to have it. Some people don't have it as much or don't wanna take clothing with them. But we're cool. I've been on this road before. It's gonna be a nice little steep climb to get me up on the main highway and start climbing even more. You're riding with Nelly, ride the Rockies, day four. We're on our way to Ridgeway. Cruising like four or five miles an hour right now, tired legs. But gonna push through this mentally. And that's about it. Just get over this next little hump and I'll be good. Ride with Nelly. Purgatory ski area. The Purgatory rest station, aid station two, just ahead. Sitting at 8,900 feet right now, man. I'm feeling it. Put some more lip stuff on. I'm gonna go ahead and get some breakfast now. Cause I thought the pancake stop was gonna be at the first one. And I had to stop at the water stop because I wasn't carrying all the way to water. And I already went through my one water bottle at 20 miles out, so that was good. And now, uh, we're gonna chill. You ride with Nelly. There's a support vehicle. All right, we're back at the rest area. Pretty busy, pretty busy. We see you. Check out the line. Told you, it's like crack, this stuff. If you do ride the Rockies, you gotta do these pancakes. Um, it's a cornerstone. Anyway, it's gonna give me some energy to continue on. Other than that, I won't bore you with any more stuff. We'll see you at the top. You ride with Nelly. I'm just, I'll take a picture for you. Thank you. Ride with Nelly. Top of Coal Bank at 10 6 4. Everyone's still coming up. It'll be like this all day long. Um, yo, nice temperature, sunny, warm. I'm gonna dip down into the valley just behind me here and then back up another steep one to Molas, where it's gonna be a big parking lot party up there and all the views 
that your heart can desire. You ride with Nelly, ride the Rockies 2017. Four miles to the top. Check it out. Came from over that way. Now we got a little climb. It's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be the same for everybody. Right with Nelly. Sit the wheel. Oh boy. Let me change my gears. Okay. 32 is kicking in. Later, folks. with Nelly, top of Molis. You know what we're looking at. Let's take another look. 10-9, 10-9. Got that? Check out the view, folks. This is what happens when you ride with Nelly. Looks like this. And we're gonna dip down where the cyclists are going into Silverton. Another small mining town back in the day. Real beautiful. Um, we're there a couple of years ago. But this is a typical nice day up high in Colorado when we got blue skies and Rocky Mountains. You ride with Nelly, folks. Sit the wheel. Come join me on these rides. Nelly, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. Right where Nelly had a great visit, a little bit of lunch at the top of Mola's Pass. It was beautiful. Last time I was actually here, my wife and I was up here by ourselves. It was kind of cool. Same type of temperatures, sunny and warm. Um, that's a video in itself, but we're gonna roll down into Silverton and I'm gonna meet the shuttle van I'm gonna meet the kids uh, At the Chamber of Commerce, but we're gonna just take our time not take risks 
Sit the wheel, ride with Nelly. Let's head off the pass at 10,000 feet into Silverton. Nelly, Robert Nelly Day 5 at Ride the Rockies. Here's the sum of my peeps. Everybody just wave, say yo. What's yo, up? yo. Hey, what's up? So we're gonna roll over to Flip and Flop Jocks, get a little bit of pancake breakfast. This is our view. We'll see ya. All right, so now we're just gonna roll on over. Uh, nice little cool 2K ride for our Flip and Flap Jack re-meet and greet. Um, and show off our jerseys and what we're doing here today. And um, and then head on into Montrose, 30 miles mostly downhill with a few uphill bumps in the road. Tailwind today. And sunshine with the view. Oh yeah. So, ride with Nelly with Kara here. We have Flipping Flap Jack. And uh, the group is getting their pancakes, and we got another group that's rolling in shortly to meet us. Right? Yeah. Probably everybody's ready. Everybody seems happy. Yep. Especially because of the free pancake dinner. The <laughs> free breakfast. Breakfast, yep. All right, so let's go do it. Come on with us. Have some, some breakfast, folks. Alright, ride with Nelly in the sunshine with the group. Hey! This out view. Alright, we're gonna keep rolling.
collaborated from last year's event to this year's event, so he's helping support the sponsorship of the jerseys as well. And uh, a lot of the Fire West staff members are here joining us for cycling week-long vacation. So you ride with Nelly and Jason. Thanks, Nelly. Yeah, we've got 12 people here enjoying the ride. Great event. Thank you very much. We'll see ya. Grab with Nelly. We're about to take a nice group photo. Couldn't ask for a better day with a nice view and a lot of smiles. So we'll see you. <clears throat> Ride with Nelly, day six. Kind of sad now that the week is almost over. Heading eastbound to Gunnarsson. 65 miles on the map. Mostly up, some down. Check this out. Okay, she's on the right. It's a big shoulder, she's gonna hang out over there. Me, I'm gonna ride in the middle of the street with my Continental Gator skins. It's rocks, sharp rocks in the gutter. Anyway, cruising along, <clears throat> head up towards that reservoir area where there's lunch, nice views, and right now there's no wind or tailwind. You ride with Nelly, ride the Rockies. 2017. Just got on your left knee. We'll see you guys. Right with Nelly. Sierra uh, Summit. Headwind the whole way. For me, personally, recreationally, about five, seven miles an hour on the driveway and that last segment was 13 miles sitting at 8,000 feet arrived at what I think is the first rest area I swear to you I think I smell pancakes you ride with Nelly see you in a minute Ravinelli Nelly back at the top of the mountain. Gary May, you've seen him before. You met him before. How's it going? All right. Ride the Rockies, day six. Day six. It's gonna be, everybody's gonna be in tears tomorrow because it's like first they wanna bitch about it, then they're gonna cry because it's gonna be over. 
the fun. Everybody's got to go back to reality and time checks. No more climbs. Yeah, no more, no more anything. Just, just you and the business you're in. So anyway, how's your ride going? It's going awesome. It's uh, my favorite ride the Rockies so far, for sure. Cool. Some good weather, right? Oh, the weather. Good perfect, weather, except for the headwinds. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of headwind, but it's the same for everybody. That's right. Same so it's road. the way you handle it. Anyway, we'll be back with some more here at the first rest area with Ride with Nelly, Ride the Rockies 2017 and Gary May. Peace. Peace. with Nelly, aid station two. Just near the top of the climb. It's been quiet. Maybe tailwind. Not like the first 10 miles for sure. But sitting at just about 8,500 feet. Breathing okay. And uh, chilling. Be riding with Nelly. 2017 Ride Rockies. We're back. Back for more. Still climbing. Like I said, sitting at 85, 100 plus feet, climbing to the top and then we stay up here. Here's the views. The camera eye lens doesn't give it justice. But we're up here. You ride with Nelly. Recreational cycling event. We all ride the same road, it's the same for everybody. Right with Nelly. Highest point of the day. Excuse me. 87 plus 100 feet. Now we kind of stay up here. And uh, we just ride. So, you ride with Nelly. We're going to chill, sit the wheels now that we're up top. See ya.
Robert Nelly back. 11:45 ish hour. Um, three hours 45 minutes into the day. Heart rate is resting okay. 39 miles into it from the hotel driveway and resting at 7,600 feet. Um, you just saw Gary and I go blazing down the last little drop. You'll see that on the map as well. Um, and so the rest area is right there as far as the eye can see with the view. And uh, <clears throat> right now we got nothing to do the rest of the day and we're running late. So we're going to take off. You ride with Nelly. Don't forget, if you're living, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. Come on out and do some recreational cycling with me. We'll see ya. Ride with Nelly at the top of Monarch Pass. Altitude is something like 11,000. That's my view. We're heading down in the slider, folks. We'll see you down there. Come ride with me. Sit the wheel.